Now let's turn our attention to space and ironically, the lack of space within it. We're talking about stars, especially aging ones. They aren't too friendly. They despise making space for their neighbors. As they grow older, they increase in size. Eventually, they swell so much that nearby planets do not have enough room to exist. And they're swallowed whole by stars. Not very cordial behavior, is it? But our scientists are all for the dramatics in space. And for the first time ever, they've caught a star in the act. I know it sounds like fun, but it is a gloomy trailer for what is to come. Because our star, the sun, will do the same to our planet, the Earth, at some point. Here's a report. Have you ever used public transport during the busy hours of the day? If yes, you know all about making room for fellow passengers. There's a lot of squishing and adjusting. It can be frustrating. You're asked to move a little here and shift a bit over there, despite a clear lack of space on the bench. In that moment, does an angry thought cross your mind? Maybe you want to snap at the pushy person. Maybe you want to avoid eye contact. But do you ever want to swallow them whole, eat them up? Not really, right? At least we hope not. Because on this planet, we treat each other with respect. Or let's just say that we try. But this is not how things work in space, especially when it comes to the stars. They don't care much for the sociable behavior of mere earthlings. They're called stars for a reason. So when there's a lack of space, they actually do swallow their fellow neighbors. This specifically happens with aging stars. Over time, they continue to swell. Eventually, their size becomes so huge that nearby planets begin skimming the surface. And this process is not without tension because it involves exploding balls of gas, the stars. So when the planets start getting close to their host star, streams of gas and dust are sent into space. There's an intense burst of light, and finally, the planets are plunged into the star. This doesn't sound like good news for the food, right? Sorry, we mean the planets. After all, they're being eaten to death. But the stars, they get quite happy, and they shine with joy, literally. After swallowing planets, they become much brighter, about a hundred times in just about 10 days. This is a fascinating concept, and for the first time ever, scientists have witnessed it. They caught a star in the act. They didn't just see it take a nibble or a bite, they saw it swallow a planet whole. The planet looked like a gas giant. It was around the size of Jupiter, but that was before. Now, it's just, well, star food. But as fun as this tale of a star's lunchtime sounds, scientists say this is also a warning, a gloomy preview of what's to come. Because don't forget that we have a star of our own, the sun. And as nice as it is with all its heat and light, it can't help but be a star. There may be love between the earth and the sun, but they are star-crossed lovers. Eventually, the sun will morph into a red giant, and it'll gobble at least three planets in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, and Earth. So being eaten by the sun will be the final fate of the Earth. If you're worried, we totally get it. But if it's any consolation, that day is billions of years away. At least five billion years to be exact. Until then, we can continue to bask in the sunlight with the quiet knowledge that it belongs to our Death Star. Yes, you guessed it, that's a Star Wars reference. We couldn't help it. After all, today is Star Wars Day. So when it comes to our sun eating up our planet, may the force be with us.